Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today we're going to talk about family night. I already told you about uh, one thing that we do to build our children's bonds between the parent and child is we have um, interviews with our kids. Another thing is we do date nights. And another thing that we do is family night. Now this is different from our counseling sessions. Our counseling is when we use the calendars and we counsel for the whole week and we're, you know, we do those on Sunday night. But our family night, we choose one day of the week and we have it at the same time, same day. And we do different things each um, week with this. And we have our kids help us to plan and carry out and expedite these so that they feel a part of it. But everything is geared towards not only having a bond with our children, but having them have a bond with their siblings as well. So that it's a time that we really truly are trying to be one as a family. So the first week of the month, we have a spiritual night. We talk about a spiritual topic or a spiritual to subject. Now, you need to decide, are you a spiritual person or are you a religious person or are you both? Usually a religious person, they're involved in organized religion. They actually go to church every week and that's their involvement. There's a lot of spiritual people who just say that they're spiritual, they believe in a higher being, and they do that. But with both of them, uh, your kids are going to be watching your behavior. So you want to make certain that your behavior matches what comes out of your mouth so that your kids do not look at you as a hypocrite. But uh, whatever you're involved with, um, whatever holy book that you read or whatever, um, include those stories and everything to teach your children on that first week. The second week is our game night. And what we do is we bring out board games. This is, we don't necessarily go outside, that's another week. Uh, for those types of uh, games, but we are bringing out every type of board game imaginable. And what I usually did is the kids got different ages and stages and it was kind of divided in our family. We would play some games for the younger kids and then we would play other games for the older kids. And you can go on my blog and I talk about uh, different games that actually will build their brains and you can read all about those. So that was our second week. Our third week was a sports night. And so we did all different kinds of sports. We would go to the park and we lived in Los Angeles. So, you know, you pretty much have sunshine year round. So you can do those things, but um, you can go to sporting activities and you can uh, do any type of thing that has to do with movement and moving and getting your kids to move. There's all this, uh, of those really old types of sporting things like Red Rover, Red Rover, you know, sends. Charlie right over or whatever. So think about and go in and look up all different types of different types of sporting activities and different things that you can do. This is also a fun time to get together with other families and maybe go to the park and play baseball or so soccer or touch football or whatever it is, but you can join in with other families and it makes it three times, four times, five times even more fun. Uh, the fourth Sunday, we, uh, the fourth week rather, we did a cultural night. And this was a lot of fun because we would learn about different countries and different nationalities. And we actually invited people. Living in California, there was a huge melting pot of a lot of different nationalities and cultural ethnicities. And so we would invite these people over to tell about their countries of where they came from. We also made different food from those countries as we talked about them. And we took the kids to different museums, to art. This is really the time where we went to art museums and science museums and all different kinds of museums, anything to expand our cultural awareness and anything that has to do with expanding your brain and uh, your awareness in general. If there was a fifth week, then we did a um, service project. And I would look in the community for all different types of service projects that we could become involved with. And trust me, there if your community is like every community out there, there are plenty of different things that you can do together as a family to serve other people and to get involved in service projects. Now, what did this do? It really created a bond of friendship with my, my kids. In fact, even today, they're all adults, but they text each other every day. They've got some kind of a stream going, going of different things that they talk to each other about, and they're very, very close. And I credit a lot of this with the fact that we had them do those things together as a family uh, every single week we were doing family activities so it not only builds the bond between you and your child but also builds a bond between siblings um, and again this is on my blog of good parenting brighter children 
Let me leave you with a quote. It's by Theodore Reich. Romance fails us, and so do friendships, but the relationships of the parent and child remains indelible and indestructible, the strongest relationship on earth. May you work hard to build the strongest relationship on earth between you and your child. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow.